What you're about to watch is a sample from our course, The Fundamentals of Live Production, available at pavement.media. Enjoy the lesson and purchase today at pavement.media. Hey everyone, welcome back to more switcher training. On a Blackmagic switcher, there's a button that can really, really mess you up, and I wanna show you what that is. It's called Preview Transition. So let me cut to the overhead, and you can see it right here. So what does Preview Transition do, and why can it really, really mess with you? Well, let's turn it off for a moment and set up a little scenario. So in an earlier lesson, we talked about building boxes on our setup using upstream keyers, and let's do that again here. All right, so I'm gonna press Keyer 1 and activate Key 1, Camera 1. Then I'm gonna press key two and know that I've got camera two routed into that. And then finally, I'm gonna press all three of these and see the background as well. So I have media player one in preview, go into the background so the background turns blue, camera one in box one, camera two in box two. Now, that's a lot of buttons to press and a lot of things to make sure that everything is going properly. So preview transition, if I press that, allows me to see what's on program in the preview window and then pull the handle and see what's gonna happen on the transition before the transition happens, which is pretty cool. It's a way of verifying what's gonna happen before you go on the air. The problem is, if you're busy doing a bunch of switching and you're managing key layers and doing all this stuff, and you're trying to change things, your program bus is still going to work like normal. But as soon as you press auto or cut, it won't work. Nothing works here anymore because the preview transition is previewing that in preview and not in program. So if I can press auto and it's going to preview that transition for me, I need to take that button off to have my actual transition go to air. So be really, really careful about this button. It's right in the middle of the entire transition section. And if you knock it, you're gonna get some really, really weird results. So the point of this lesson is very simply, you need to know how your switcher works. Now that you understand how this button works, you can use it to your advantage and turn it off quickly if you're getting odd switcher behavior.